welcome to Blossom Sandwich Sews. My name is Yvette and today's video is going to be another little catch up because it's been a few weeks since my previous video so I'm going to tell you about my most recent makes. I'm going to tell you about my experience working at the Stitch Show which was in London recently, show you what I bought at the show and then I'll tell you about my next up project that I'm excited to get started. So first of all my projects, so I've done three projects that I'm going to talk to you about and one was for my mum, one was for Doug and one was for me so I feel like I've done quite well there with the selfless sewing. So the first project is for my mum, so I, you may remember from a previous video, the kind of folklore cotton jersey fabric that I picked up at the Surrey So Social that I hosted with Mel recently. So this is a fabric that I think actually Mel brought to the swaps table and I picked that up and I think I mentioned in the previous video that I was thinking of using it to make a dress for my mum so I'm going to put in a picture of my mum wearing the dress that I made it was quite funny because she um, my mum came to the stitch festival with me on the Thursday and so she came to stay on the Wednesday night and saw the dress hanging up and was like oh that's a nice dress and I was like oh I'm glad you think so because it is for you and she was like oh so that was quite funny. Um, so the pattern is the Sew Over It Audrey top, but I have hacked it into a sort of A-line dress. Uh, so that was quite fun. It was pretty quick to make. Um, the I, I did follow your previous advice and try and get some Maraflex thread, um, but I couldn't find any. They didn't have any at my local hobby craft and I didn't want to wait for any to come in the post. So I used um, the twin needle top stitching, but I've actually had a lot more success with the twin needle on a more stable jersey than with the viscose jersey. So yeah, feeling, uh, you know, slowly building my confidence with the jersey. Um, so yeah, I did um, the print placement, so the border print was just at the bottom and then the top and the sleeves were just um, the sort of plain black bit of that fabric design. And then with the bits that were left over, I made a project for me, which is going to be my Sew Frugal project. So I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of the Sew Frugal challenge, which is being hosted by Frugalissima and Ruan, um, because there's a vlogger tour and all sorts. Um, but I, I'm not doing the vlogger tour, I'm just going to mention it because this was one of my recent makes. So this is a sneak peek as well because the re reveal date isn't until the 31st. So I made myself the Jessie Tee by True Buyers and it's quite a boxy kind of oversized cropped tee um, which is really good for using up smaller bits of fabric. And I thought also because it's a free pattern so it's eligible for So Frugal and this fabric was picked up for free on a swaps table and this is the made from the remnants that's left after making my mum's dress so it's a super frugal project. Um, I'll stand up so you can quickly see it but I'll put in pictures so you can see it properly. So it's quite cropped, there's the top of my trousers got quite a central placement of the print but yeah overall the placement's a bit of a hot mess like I wish that these bits lined up and ideally I would have done the sleeves like plain just to show off the print on the bodice but I would had to work with what was left um, so yeah it's a pretty cute t-shirt for just wearing around and I just used the same fabric for the neckband um, it's got kind of a drop shoulder on this design and um, so yeah I'm going to be posting that on the 31st for the reveal for that challenge so yeah that was that was a fun little make just to um just as like a palette cleanser after making my peony dresses for the catwalk which I'll talk about in a minute obviously I've got to mention the so yellow for endo challenge as well which again I'm sure a lot of you have heard of and participated in I did have grand plans to make very yellow things for it but I just didn't have the time to sew them so I ended up wearing my peony dress from a few videos ago um, because that's got some kind of yellowy flowers in and I really enjoyed wearing that out um, and had a lot of compliments on it as well so yeah I was really pleased with that and yeah thanks to everyone that saw me on the Saturday and said hi or spoke to me so I was at the Stitch Festival and then I went to just the end of the Sew Me Sunshine party as well which was really nice it seemed like a lot of people had done lots of really nice shopping at Sew Me Sunshine which was really great so yeah it was um yeah it was a lovely challenge so thanks to Jess for organizing So Yellow for Endo as well and I think they've raised 
over £2,000, which is just incredible, um, just in this year. So yeah, that was really good as well. So my third project is a top that I made for Doug. So I'll put in a picture of him wearing it. So it is the, the pattern is the Henley top by Patterns for Pirates. And I've got some thoughts about this pattern. We'll get onto that in a minute. Um, the fabric is a brushed uh, rib knit viscose jersey. So it's the same fabric as my uh, blue version for my Dawson top um, because I was buying some for him and then I wanted some for myself as well. So now we've both got a super soft top, which is lovely. And Doug's really pleased with it because he says it's really comfy and cozy and soft. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I wasn't overly impressed with the pattern. So this is the first Patterns for Pirates pattern that I've used. And I don't, I don't like to sort of criticise drafting on like indie patterns because obviously I'm not, a sort of professional pattern drafter and I don't have those skills but there were things about the pattern like the sleeves are cut on the fold so most sleeve patterns and arm size will have different shaping for the front and the back of the arm whereas this sleeve was cut on the fold so I was a bit like mm, okay um, I mean it is kind of loose anyway I guess so it's not the end of the world but um, yeah it makes it more awkward to cut out as well because you've got to cut the sleeve out twice you can't just cut the sleeve like two sleeves on the fold if that makes sense and then for the placket there was no pattern piece for it like I originally thought oh maybe I've just like because it's a smaller piece maybe I lost it when I was like cutting out so I had it printed a zero and I thought oh maybe I've lost that piece but then I went back to look at the like the digital pdfs and it just wasn't there so I was like oh okay um Luckily, it's a kind of squarish, rectangle-shaped piece. So I kind of figured out the dimensions with a bit of maths based on like how many times you need to fold it over. Um, but I did think that was not ideal. And then for the placket, I ended up using a woven fabric, which was my um, silk cotton fabric, um, because the the jersey would have just been way too thick because you fold it over quite a lot of times. To, to get all the raw edges contained. Um, but yeah, I was a bit not that, like not super impressed with the pattern, honestly. Like it was, it wasn't very expensive. It was about seven pounds, but um, yeah, the instructions weren't brilliant either because they're photo instructions, but um, they seem to have made like maybe like five different versions in different fabrics and they just sort of randomly chop and change between them. So yeah, I'm kind of interested to know if anyone knows of any like other Henley top patterns, like a sort of jersey top with a button placket, because I I'm not that convinced by the construction of the neck. So you do the the stretch the neckband like it's a regular jersey neckband, but then to get the end in, you just kind of stack the end on like vertically. Um, so yeah, I'm just. Not, I'm not sure that it all sits right. Like I don't know that the neck hole is the right shape and just like loads of sort of little things like that that all kind of add up to make me feel like maybe that wasn't the best choice of pattern. But yeah, let me know if you've tried any other patterns from Pattern for Pirates and maybe um, this is like an older one and the new ones are better or something. Like I don't like, I don't want to sort of put anyone off, but yeah, my experience with it was not as positive as a lot of indie sewing companies. But at the end of the day, Doug likes his top, he's happy with it. I added in a little extra bits on the shoulder because I used that contrast placket and I just kind of wanted to tie it in a bit more and make it look deliberate. Um, and because those were woven, I wasn't really sure if it was gonna work, but it seemed to have all worked out in the end. Um, the overall finish is not perfect, but you know, it is what it is, it's done now. Yeah, I find it, I find it just extra difficult, like especially when I'm sewing for other people to, accept imperfections in my sewing um so I just need to like think about that at the end of the day Doug's happy with the top that I've made him um so even though I look at it and I see like the crinkles around the neck band and just absolutely cringe that's sort of not the point really <laughs>
All right, let's talk about the Stitch Festival. So I had a really good time at the Stitch Festival. I'm honestly, I'm still recovering. It was really intense. I was there every single day, including on the Wednesday, the day before, to help set up. So I was helping out Sandeep on System in Tarka. So thank you to everyone who came up to see me there on System in Tarka. Um, and sorry if I didn't really get much of a chance to speak with you. But yeah, it was really good. Um, Sandy brought her like whole new collection of fabrics, which are absolutely gorgeous and they sold really well. And on a couple of the days as well, Sandeep's dad, Gurmit, was there and he's just so sweet. He's so lovely. Um, so yeah, it was really good vibes. It was really good to work together and get to be, yeah, involved part of the sewing community. So on the Thursday, I participated in the Instagram Makers Catwalk and I walked for Fabric Godmother with my mum. So I'm gonna put in a little clip there. Dark has filmed the entire catwalk. So everybody who was on that section, so I think it was Sister in Tarka, Fabric Godmother, um, and Clofatelia, I think. But if you wanna see like the whole 20 minute catwalk, let me know and I will post it to YouTube. Um, yeah, but that was really good fun. Um, my mum loved her dress and it fit perfectly in the end because I was a bit worried because I'd fit the toile on her and then just made the dress. So I was just, just like, I just hope that it fits and it did. So that was really lucky. And yeah, I went and bought some shoes to wear with my dress because I had a bit of a mare just trying on all the shoes that I had. I was like, this isn't it, this isn't it. So yeah, I was uh, I was happy that I got the dresses done in the end and like, happy with how they turned out. Uh, yeah, and the catwalk was really good fun as well. Uh, you know, it was really good vibes backstage and it was quite chill and I think the whole sewing community is very like wholesome and supportive as well. Like you come out on the stage and everyone's smiling. Uh, so that was really nice. Um, my mum beforehand had been watching sort of runway catwalks, like high fashion ones and, you know, thinking, oh, do I need to put one foot in front of the other and scowl? And I was like, no, just come on and have a good time. Um, so yeah, it was really good. She had the best time. I think she wants to do it again. So yeah, maybe you'll have to stay tuned for even more matching outfits because now we've got two matching outfits because we've both got an outfit in this fabric as well. Um, so yeah, apart from that, obviously I was on System in Tarka and then I also did a talk about Stash Hub on the Sunday. So that was really good. I, I wasn't nervous about it until the Sunday because the night before I'd had these like really and really bad like anxiety dreams about it where it all went disastrously wrong and then the event organizers were like okay we've rescheduled your talk to 4 p.m and i was like doesn't the show close at 3 p.m so that i had to deliver the talk on the tube and it was just really silly but it just made me really stressed and i hadn't slept well so i was just like oh god but it went really well in the end and um, thank you if you did come and see that in person i've got a recorded version of it on the stash hub youtube channel uh, which isn't the version that i did live but it's the same presentation if you want to see my amazing slide animating skills um, but yeah, it's kind of like an overview of Stash Hub, like what the app does, how it can benefit your sewing journey, and then some of like my favorite features. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I was just so exhausted by the Sunday as well because it had just been really intense. The show was open until 8 p.m. on the Thursday. So we were there quite late on the Thursday and then just like, the Friday and the Saturday were just so busy and it, it was really good and I really enjoyed it but it was so intense so I was just really really tired I was just like oh gosh hope I don't fall asleep on the stage um but yeah it was good we did the talk and then Doug and I went out for a burgers afterwards um so yeah it was really nice I didn't get too much time to look around the show but I did to have a little wander around and I did buy three fabrics. So I'm going to show you my fabric purchases now. Da, 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 da. So this is my first fabric. Oh, look at those colours. Um, you'll definitely notice a theme when I get all the fabrics out. Um, but this is a fabric from Bornella Fabrics. I think it's called Super Bloom. It's like a really nice kind of light weight cotton poplin and just look at those colors absolutely stunning 
So um, Tanya had an outfit in this as well. I think it's a Zadie jumpsuit, which was absolutely fabulous. So I've bought two meters of this and I'm thinking of making a blouse, maybe using a vintage pattern because I know this print is sort of vintage inspired. Um, so yeah, that's my current thoughts, but I've got two meters, so I've got quite a lot of options with this one. And I think it will look really good with that cobalt blue fabric when I eventually get around to sewing that up. And yeah, I just think it's really fun. It's really me and I just absolutely love the colors. And it's like my scale of floral as well. I love like a mid-sized floral. And then the other two fabrics, I'm gonna show you them together because I, I, these are both from System in Tarka and I just, the, the bolts were stacked together on the shelf and I just looked at them the whole time and just couldn't stop thinking about how good they look together. So this is a bamboo jersey, like a really lovely bright turquoise color. And then this one is a viscose and it's called Sunrise. So I'm gonna open it out a bit because it's quite a large scale print. So what I'm currently thinking is to make some like Winslow collots or some really like big floaty kind of palazzo pants and then use this. I don't think you can really see. I'm just gonna hold it in front of my head for the top. Um, so just make a simple top, maybe the Helen's Closet Dawson top after I figured out my shoulder fit, but I just love the combo. I think I'm doing such a bad demo here, but hopefully you get the idea. And then if you look at it with this one, I think you can probably see my theme that I'm having, which is like turquoise. I've just got really into turquoise at the moment and there's another print which is a new Fabric Godmother one, which I've got my eye on, but Doug says I can't buy it because it's too similar to everything else I've been buying. <laughs> Probably he means it's similar to this one because it's got the turquoise flowers on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a viscose, that one, so it is different. But yeah, clearly I'm just really drawn to turquoise. I feel like this happens a lot where I'll have a colour that I get kind of like in my head and then I'll just be really attracted to things and I kind of won't realise that they're all the same. It's like this one's got the oranges in as well. Um, so yeah, really excited about those. Obviously they're already in my stash hub. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. I've got still got to get these pre-washed because I was catching up on all the like normal laundry after the show, um, but that's my rule. I have to do the regular laundry loads before I can do pre-washing just to motivate me to actually do the laundry and not just leave all the clothes sitting there until we've got no pants left and then I've just got fabric. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my experience at the show. I'll put in pictures uh, as well. I was really bad at getting pictures like with other people. So I don't, I don't have a lot of pictures of that to show you. Um, and I'm not gonna say all the people that I met because I met a lot of people and I don't wanna like miss anyone out and offend anyone. But yeah, if you said hi to me, um, do know that I was really grateful for that. Um, and it was really, really fun time at the show. So yeah, I am planning to be at the Ali Pali show in the autumn so <laughs> hopefully I've, I've recovered from this show by then um right shall we talk briefly about my next up sewing plan just so that you can hold me accountable to actually sewing it so i was planning to go to the new craft house spring fling party uh in a couple of weeks but unfortunately that's been cancelled now so I don't have a party to go to. I was planning to make something for the party, but it has still made me think about what spring plans I want to make. So um, I'm still thinking of making what I was already planning to make. So I'll show you the fabric. Here it is. This is Liberty. Um, it's called something Meadow, but I, I, lo I saw this fabric, absolutely loved the colorway. And then I couldn't find it anymore because of like how Liberty just do sort of limited collections. So I managed to find it at some like random shop um, and snapped it up. So my plan is to make the Deer and Doe Myosotis dress with this. And I have gained some weight since I made my last version, which I think I made for last year's So Yellow Ferendo. Um, 
So what I have done is I've already altered the bodice pattern piece to have a like a one inch full bust adjustment. So I've just added in half an inch into the bust and then the pattern's already quite loose at the waist anyway. So I think that will be fine, but I just didn't want it to be like pulling across the chest. So that's my plan. I've got some kind of clear buttons that I'm going to use because I just really want to show off this gorgeous fabric. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited about that. Um, hopefully it won't take me too long to sew. I think the fabric's going to be really nice to sew. So yeah, that's my next springy sewing plan. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. I've also got some other kind of springy type plans. Um, in the in the works because I've got a lot of florals obviously in my stash that are you know the groundbreaking thing for spring um so yeah I've I'm, I'm really looking forward to the weather warming up a bit I'm definitely a more sort of spring summer person I find the winter is just too miserable um and I just love the colors and they're like comfy swishy fabrics so yeah I'm looking forward to my upcoming sewing plans I don't know if I'll do like a full plans video because I kind of changed my mind about what I'm gonna make um but yeah let me know what you think of my Liberty my Sotis plan I hope you enjoyed that little catch up just seeing a few of the small projects that I've been making and hopefully I'll be able to get my teeth stuck into some spring summer sewing coming along and let me know what you think of my lovely new purchases as well um and I'm really looking forward to seeing all your guys vlogs as well about the Stitch Festival um because I need to catch up and also see what I actually missed at the show by not being able to fully go around all the stalls but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon bye